everyone, and welcome back to episode 34 of my Minecraft FP Let's Play series. So, it's impregnation time, boyos. It's time to get some nice, nice, juicy face hackers onto the raptors, okay? Onto the raptors, okay. So, um, by the way, before we completely start, there's two things I wanted to say. Uh, one, thanks again to everyone who's been commenting and coming to the Discord channel and just showing their support in every way, liking the videos, share them, sharing them and all that. I really appreciate it. I've also finished naming all the eggs after the $10 plus patrons. Uh, any patrons that don't appear on the walls right here, we've got Alpha, Blood, uh, Louise, um, Ian, Draken, Cal. I'm not a patron. What is this? Um, yeah, uh, any, anyone that I haven't been able to fit on the walls, you all are inside this chest for now. Um, there is a reason for this. There's a reason I haven't actually added more cryo tubes. It's because there's a really weird bug that happens between chisel and bits and the AVP mods cryo tubes in particular. To put it simply, I managed to fix it. I don't know how I fixed it. I just reinstalled my entire pack. But essentially what was happening was every time I'd finish building, put all the cry tubes there, power them all up, put the eggs in there, then log out, save it, and then come back in, they'd all be back to front, all the eggs would, would have been, um, all, all, all the eggs have disappeared, and all the chisel and bits things were ghost blocks. It was the weirdest bug ever, which is why I had, had a little bit of PTSD with touching this room. So I'm just leaving it as is for now. Okay, so also I've been naming all the raptors, uh, just continuously been breeding them. How are these guys going? Yeah, sweet. We got some more males. We just need to farm some more of that mossy thing so I can get some more eggs hatching. Anyway, managed to name all the patrons. Awesome. All patrons have been named um, after raptors. Now moving on to the comments. So from the comment section already, we've got Mr. Wolfbex, Azara. Uh, Kona, Achilles, and Jeff. Yep. <laughs> okay, so that that's a little update on, you know, naming all the little creatures after all you guys. Um, also, uh, so while I was uh, mining around my area, I'm trying to open up this area a little bit more so I can start putting in some more areas. Use the same word like four times in that. Okay. 10 out of 10 English, by the way. Just want to let you just know. Okay. 10 out of 10. Anyway. So, as I was mining through this area, I managed to hear a Yaucha. I ended up putting on my marine helmet to figure out where the hell it was. Uh, I think I waypointed it. Was it... Was it here? Yeah. Another interesting area. Yeah, yeah. I waypointed it. Um, so, essentially, what I found was... Well, why don't we just go over there and have a look? I didn't want to... Yeah, what I found while I was mining was this little area that looks completely out of place that had this weird thing in it with a bed and a few stone bricks, an anvil, and this thing had a, had some stuff in it. A carrot on a stick, a sponge, and a villager number 16's personal entry number 3. And this thing had a bunch of shit in there as well. I haven't touched this uh, when I found it, since I found it. I just wanted to do this on camera. So, um, I haven't even read this yet. So, it looks like a journal entry. So, um, villager number 16's personal entry, number three. Torn page. Seemed like we're all losing our minds. I can't get number 15 to snap out of it. He just keeps staring into the void, only responding to others who are affected. Also, why the name Jer? Torn page. That's it. Oh, all right. Hmm. Alright. That, that makes no sense at all. Um. Alright. <laughs> I, I was expecting that would have, um, some more information in it than just, well, I mean, seems like we're all losing our minds. I can't get number 15 to snap out of it. He just keeps staring into the void, only responding to others who are affected. Also, why the name Jer? That's it. Interesting. Um, cool. If I find any other of these things, I'll let you guys know. But, um, 
yeah, I, f I found that in between episodes. I just wanted to let you guys know. It's, it's um, I don't know what to say. That's. Hey, let me let's grab a chest and put this in. Hey, that works. Let's put it in there. Let's put um, any interesting things we find in there. That's a good idea. All right, so back to the main premise of this video. So. I wanted to make an impregnation chamber, okay? I want to make one of those. I am sick of getting impregnated. I have PTSD when it comes to face huggers now. I don't want to go near them. I want to create this chamber in such a way that it pushes the egg into the chamber while I'm standing like 20 blocks away because I don't want anything to do with those face huggers anymore. Like, I've had enough heart attacks over the past few years with these face huggers. I don't need any more. My heart is weak. I have health problems, okay? I don't <laughs> fucking know. Alright. Okay. No more. No more face huggers. Oh my god. And if it happens, it probably will happen. Oh, who am I kidding? It's it's gonna happen probably. I mean I'm pretty sure I'm like a hundred percent sure it's gonna happen multiple times throughout while we do this. If it happens. You know what? Just you you laugh at me, okay? You enjoy my suffering. You, I just want you to know you're enjoying my suffering, okay? I just want you to know. And that's okay. Because um, nothing's funnier than watching someone trip over. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So... I was going to build it. Possibly. Possibly, possibly. Just over here. Um, now, I'm not sure how I'm going to build this. I will probably make it into a time lapse. Because, once again, I go on about complaining about my weather in Australia. Because it's really hot, and I want to turn my aircon back on. But, well, there is no but. I just want to turn my aircon back on, and it's going to be really loud. And, I really want to do a video today, so we can do a time lapse thing. Cool. And then I can probably cut back another day, and then I can show you guys it's all, show you guys it all, it's, uh, it's all finished and show you how it works. Yeah, that's a good idea. The only problem we're going to have is getting these things out of the cryotubes. Um, might need to use some winky winky stuff. There's a lot of winky winky stuff that we're going to have to do because there's not, not a lot of ways to... There's not a lot of... Let's be honest, there's not a lot of technical and functional ways to work with the AVP mod. It's, it's basically just a bunch of blocks chucked in. Uh, a bunch of mechanics without any way to actually achieve those mechanics or craft most of those blocks, so... Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's see how we go. We'll see how we go. I'll, um, I'll see. Yeah. I'm going to try to build this. Probably going to incorporate some sort of piston or force field system. I'm not sure. You know what? Actually, let's, um, uh, let's craft this on camera just before we get going. There is a... Yeah, these force field things. We came across them in the, um, that mutated lab where the Yacha were experimenting and stuff. They're from, um, Advanced Rocketry. Can I craft any now? Do I need... What do I need? Aluminium plates? Can, can I just... No? Okay, I just need aluminium plates. Um, but I think, essentially... Uh, you craft them. They don't really need any power at all. Hit a lev, lev, uh, you put a lever next to them or redstone or whatever. Hit the lever and then a force field goes kaboom, straight up. That was the weirdest sound effect I've ever done. Anyway, yeah. So I just thought I'd explain that first because um, I definitely want to use these, these, um, especially for more doors in the future. So, all right. Wish me luck. I'm gonna see if I can build this thing. <laughs> Turns out the time lapse was way too long. Holy shit! It wasn't. Uh... Would have taken so long. Oh, meow. I also forgot to record a uh, whole chunk because I'm an idiot. Alright, so. I got a room. <laughs> That's about it for now. Let's see how it goes. I made it out of marble instead of plastic because I'm getting sick of the look of plastic. Um even though it might be a really bad idea, but I think aesthetically it might be okay. Function-wise, 
pretty bad. Oh god, did I crash? No, okay, there's just a lot of lag. Holy shit. What's causing all my lag? Jesus, fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay. I'll, um... I'll get around to continuing now. So, so there's literally like, um... Three to four, three, maybe five hours of footage that I, I, I can't speed through within like three minutes. I'm just trying to find my kazoo. Give me a second. Dude. Where is it? Fuck's sake. Wait. That's my harmonica. Ah, oh, that'll do. Whatever. I'm just, just trying to do some quality content here. Hang on. Oh my god. Open up, please. Push. There we go. Okay. Oh, you lens so stupid. Didn't realize it was gonna take like three to five hours. Okay, okay, that's enough. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. It's been about, uh, what time is it now? Jesus fuck, it's been like three hours today and two hours yesterday, but we're finally done. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering how I spent so much time doing this. It's like, it's not amazing, it's just a big giant block. Anyway, <laughs> we achieved what we were trying to do in Pregnation Chamber. I actually had to make... I had to skip ahead. I was going to do an episode on these, but I had to skip ahead and make a... a uh, blah, 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 advanced rocketry machine just to be able to make the force field controller thingies. Uh, so if we go over here... Boop. We can turn the force fields on and off. Cool. Yep. Okay. And then over here we can dispense things. So on either side. So egg goes in the dispenser. Uh, we hit the button. Blah blah blah. Yada yada. You know. Easy peasy. And also this is ineffable glass over here, so we can walk straight through this. We might want to replace that with force fields. I'm not sure, but anyway, for the time being, um, not finished with this room, but it's good enough to leave it as as is. It's functional. Uh, I can get- I can get things working in here. Awesome. Alright. Thank you guys for watching so much. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next episode, we will be impregnating raptors. I'm not sure when I can do it, but, um... Yeah, that's the plan. Next episode, impregnating raptors. If you want to be the raptor, if you're a Patreon, comment down below. And let me know if you want to become the first impregnation. <laughs> uh, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Adios.